What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to week four of our December's monthly update. So, yeah, we are closing in at the end of 2022. Hopefully you guys had a wonderful holiday, by the way. Merry Christmas. It's actually a few days after. But yeah, week four of December. I knew we weren't going to be doing as well as we did in November but I wanted to still do updates anyway. A lot of people said it was like motivational to help you guys get back into all the grind and all that stuff. But um, yeah, so what did we do overall in December? So actually week three to week four, we had a lot of interesting stuff happen. We're still gonna do the end of the month recap or I guess end of the year recap uh, afterwards. But yeah, so we are currently at 75.8 billion. Um, that's pretty good, actually, for being in the month of December, where I just didn't play a lot, but I still played casually. Um, I believe we started at, like, <clears throat> 15 billion. So we made, like, roughly 60 this month instead of um, November is, like, 75 plus. But I will say that in terms of if we sold everything, I think I would have matched this month. Um, so 75 billion, almost 76, with the goal of getting another Tungrad ring. And I believe actually that by the time we get enough silver, we could probably put an order. I have a feeling that I could probably get it for 100 billion. Because uh, 95, it would be nice to get it, but... There are kind of a lot of orders, so who knows? Maybe I'll put it on. But looking at it right now, it doesn't look like too many people are selling Tungrads. And what I could do to speed up this process is um, sell my current Tungrad and get like maybe nine billion back after taxes. And then we'll get it. So. I get that, just grind a little bit more, and then we're good. But I think I'm just going to save up and then sell the ring afterwards. Maybe see what happens. Maybe YOLO it, and then raw tap it. Who knows? But with that said, we are actually closing in on level 65, or 79%. Uh, I've been taking advantage of the 500% XP. I think it's ending tomorrow, actually, with tomorrow's maintenance. And... Yeah, I've been doing a little bit of Gyphon, getting like 1.5% an hour there. So, tomorrow we'll be back to Histria, the usual. But, I just wanted to get as much XP as I could while uh, there's a big event. And honestly, who knows? I think maybe throughout January, we'll spend a little bit of time trying to push 65 and then go back to Histria. Because I've, honestly, the past three months non-stop history i do need to change of pace a little bit so another quick goal i think on average is about like one percent an hour at history with without any uh event buffs so what have we made in terms of gains in terms of december progress so as you guys know the wusa came out and you get one ap and dp but we did make some accomplishments actually we got Capris 20 in our shoes. That's very good. We're actually, that was my first piece of gear that I've gotten all the way to 20. Um, I wouldn't really count the weapons, even though they are technically C20 in a way. Um, but this is the first piece of gear that I've ever gotten to Capris 20, which is pretty nice. And then gloves. I think we're going to keep the gloves at 13 because we all know that the new region is coming out in a few months. And that means the new, like, Fallen God or Labresca, whatever it's called for the gloves, is coming out. And so usually that's, like, get it to Capris 10, uh, do the quest, and, like, grind for whatever the material is, and you're good. So I think I'm going to leave it at 13. Um, and then if whatever Capris I get left over, we're going to start pumping it into the Nuver because, well... I just want to start improving my PvP and Nuver is the thing you use, or at least 
Dark Knights use for PvP. So, brackets work a little bit differently for Nuber. And, um, it's like 3, 5, 7. It's like level 3, you get 1 DP. Uh, level 5, you get another DP. 7, you get 1 AP. Uh, the AP itself, I mean, it's nice. But I, at this point, for me, I don't need it. It's just nice. And then afterwards, it's like 10, 13, 14 or something. Or, I don't know, I think it's something along those lines. Uh, 11, 13, 14, or something like that. And then that's another 2 DP and an AP. Either way, the brackets are a little bit different for Capris levels, because instead, for armors, it's like, get Capris 9, and then 13, 14, and then so on. It's just a little bit different. Either way, I think the goal would be to get at minimum, Capris 14 and Anuver. Obviously, you're trying to push it to 20 if you can, but it's an expensive activity. Um, yeah, then I guess our next goal for November, or January of next year. One will be setting up our new crystal system because that's the new thing coming out. That's pretty huge preset crystals. Uh, so I'll have my PvP and PvE one, then we'll do an entire build update once that happens and I get to test things around. Um, after we get our tongue grad ring, um, our next goal obviously is pushing Tet Labresca and Tet Fallen God, whichever one comes first. And in terms of big gains, uh, I don't know actually. Like I do want pen distortions, but at the same time, I also want what are those dawn earrings? And I know this is kind of like people say dawn earrings are bad, but I think for me, I would be using them exclusively for PvP. And of course, by the time I get enough silver to get it, then the price is probably going to go up again as usual. But we'll see. I'll worry about that when I get there or I could just, you know, try to make it myself. Not that there are really any... You can order them, at least, compared to Distos, which has dumb amounts of orders on it. So yeah, I think I might go for Dawn Earrings after. Um, Yeah, in terms of other progress at Histria, what we did this month was... We got our seventh Vodkin piece. They're all the same. Bodkins. One day I'll get the Elton. I'm determined. Seven of them. <laughs> so. Yeah. Another thing on the side is we are almost at Guru 16 gathering. Which is, I mean. It sounds like a meme. But. I don't know. Gathering is one of those time gated ones. Because it's just how much energy do you use daily. On gathering instead of doing something else. But. Yeah. We are. 719 gear score technically if we were to put it in it would be like at 725 if we put narcs but narcs are just a meme way to boost up gear score so whenever people are like oh i am 700 and like 50 gear score generally most of the time they have narcs on but ultimately i think gear score is a meme so people do what they want i don't care and um yeah, those are my goals for the new year and progress update. So, in case you guys haven't seen already, we actually got something during the... Uh, I didn't get it during the Garmoth event, but we actually got a Garmoth heart. It wasn't during the event, it was like uh, a few days before it, which is always nice. And I don't actually need it, but at the same time, I don't really want to sell it either, because... Here's the thing. If Pearl Abyss ever watches my videos, which I think they might, I don't know. First of all, look at the problem. You see how many orders are on there? I believe about like one cell a day and or like whenever Garmoth uh, drops or like spawns, there's like one a day. So... Clearly, that means there's a problem. There's a lot of people that want it. 
there is a way to get it, but it takes so much time doing a quest for it that to the point where you might as well, I think you actually have a higher chance of winning an order. But what they should do is raise the price to like Vel prices and 16.5. Cool. Raise it up to Vels and the problem slowly goes down. Obviously, you might still have orders, but it, orders won't be as bad. And with the amount of silver people are getting these days, getting like 10 billion silver, not really difficult. Just like maybe, I don't know, even for someone at Centaurs, that's like 20 hours of grinding. Not even bad for a Garmots, which I think is a lot. So, oh, well, we'll see. If they ever raise the price of the Garmoth's heart, I'll just list it on the market. Or we could just be a memer and put it on my shy weapon, the Awakening. <laughs> but anyway, that's about my update for this month. Or, well, I guess this week we'll make another end of the month total because we still have technically a few days to go. Um, Yeah, in terms of AP, DP gains, we got obviously the one and one, but I don't really count that realistically our dp gains just went up by two from getting capris 19 to 20 this week um i think our next gain obviously is just going to be silver ones and we'll get another pen tungrad and we'll go from there so hopefully you guys are having a wonderful holiday hope you guys got everything you wanted for christmas um i'm actually kind of surprised they're probably going to have a new year's sale um probably tomorrow during maintenance but who knows? You guys, make sure to get the coupons if you haven't. It's in, it's like 100 silver in the Pearl store. So you'll get a coupon. Well, actually two of them. So make sure to use them and get them by then. And yeah, I am out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Once again, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I try to make videos for both newer players, beginners, and veteran players who are looking to get better at the game. That has always been my goal for making videos to help good players already improve and beginners learn the game. So would love to see you guys come back and have a fantastic day. Peace.